Hello everybody, Grace Two Plays, and we're back with more Brick Rigs. In the land of Brick Rigs, pain and sadness is very pervasive. Luckily, the denizens of Brick Rigs have ways to deal with such a horrifying, I don't know, I guess, social norm. Over here! Barbarian is back. Look at my Brickman! His spinal column shattering in two. As he looks up in awe at what we have here. I think this is called the car mulcher or the car muncher. Hold on here. It's a the car mulcher. Yes, Enrique. This is uh, Pepe's. I think it's like his younger, more personable, less psychotic brother. I think that's how Barbarian described this guy has decided to open up a junkyard. In this junkyard, there's only one way to deal with pain and sadness, which is to take things that you don't like and slowly feed them into the jaws of death. So, cars are mostly what you're supposed to be feeding into this doom machine. Let's give it a shot real quick. Oh, before we begin, I'm so happy there's a soda machine here. It's got my favorite flavor too, Water Zero. <laughs> For when you're for when you're really on those diets, man, it's got negative calories. Drinking it is just like being cursed by that that one gypsy lady in Thinner. Any of you guys ever seen that movie? If you hadn't, it's it's pretty horrifying. All right, this doesn't look. <laughs> I can't remember if I ever saw this license plate kill me. Oh god. I mean, I guess I'll oblige. I'm not gonna lie, that license plate is a bit more morbid than I had previously anticipated. All right, so let us lift the car up like so. There we go. Now, how, is there a way for me to like, can I make this, oh, there we go. Yes, good. Oh, okay. All right, hold on now. Now, first things first. We need to, whoa, get a little bounce from the slowdown. Everything's gonna be just fine though. We need to slow things down just a little bit. Are we aimed up appropriately? Oh, we are. Now all we have to do is detach the sadness and watch what unfolds. Disengage the hook. I don't know. When you have issues with the, um, with the speed like we are right now, Sometimes things don't like getting caught quite as easily as they should. Let's let's speed things up. I kind of wonder like how big of an item we could potentially fit inside. Oh, okay, there's extra blowing up going on. Don't know where that came from, but every once in a while, you boys know bits and pieces like to catch randomly on fire. Oh look, it's crapping out all of the various chunklets of the car that we decided to use as fodder. Look at all the bricks, all the smoldering bricks. Come shucking out the back over here. I told you we would do something bigger. Over here! A Star Wars Dreadnought. By Dudelays? I think it is how it's pronounced. Can we fit this oversized slice of pizza into the mulcher? I, like, probably we can. I may have to drop it in. I, I don't know if, I don't think there's any way that we're going to be able to lower it in with the mechanism. But if I move this thing to the side, and then I just kind of, like, slide this thing in like a like an envelope into a into a uh, you know what are the you know what they're called the thing that the thing that holds the, you know what it is it holds the envelopes what is that called the mail slot there we go if we slide it into the mail slot over here I think it'll work something I didn't think about is how exactly I'm gonna turn it nose down uh I didn't, I didn't really get that far. I don't actually know how I'm going to do that because it likes to fall nice and flat. Like, look at how just perfectly flat it falls. I can't even get the weight on the front to be so large that it gets all destructicated. Wow, it took that hit pretty, pretty well. Well, I've got the thrusters moving, but again, it doesn't really like tip it in the direction I need. It just kind of slaps itself onto the mulcher. And once it's on the mulcher, it just kind of stays there. Now, it does have some sort of, like, landing gear. Maybe I can, maybe I can, like, throw down the landing gear and get, see that, see the landing gear's coming out the bottom or whatever right now. It just kind of gets sucked into the mulcher. But the rest of the machine stays on the outside. All right, guys. This one's for you. <laughs> this is for all the, the people that say that Ugandan Knuckles has destroyed the internet. Oh, wow, look at that. It's like, uh, it's like he has 
mulch resistant feet or something. It did a, a fantastic bounce out of the mulcher. Will he still get caught? Not real. Okay, he just kind of fell to pieces. I don't. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> I didn't know this was it. <laughs> okay. Oh Ugandan Knuckles at full speed. Here we go. Can we get a little bit more of Ugandan Knuckles inside of the shredder? Eh, he's so gang. I have no idea what happened. He got busted in half. It was like a it was like a WWE backbreaker. I don't know what this mulcher did, but it just literally ripped Ugandan Knuckles' head straight from his body. See, even this thing knows. Even this knows that Ugandan Knuckles is slowly going, trying to bring about the end of days. Now, I did have to mention, there was more to Enrique's, you know, car shredding destruction-a-thon than just the mulcher. Over here, he has his own Enrique's junkyard. That's right, we got great bargains over here. Spare parts, full service. I don't know in what condition all these different cars are in. Oh, they look smashing. Look at all the rust everywhere. You got your engines and your exhaust parts and your miscellaneous and your doors and panels. You got the pick and mix for your tires. When, you, when all four tires don't need to be the same specifications. That's in these days, boys. You don't need to have all four tires matching. It's better when your car is all wacky and sideways and stuff like that. What is inside of this odd, like, particularly nuclear looking container? Oh. Oh, we got a cargo manifest. Look at like some cups of urine in here, too. One defect thigh masker, thigh master, masker, thigh master, five slinkies, three bottles of American lager. Hey! One script for Dukes of Hazard written in crayon? <laughs> what? There's nothing vehicular about it! What sort of odd. Oh! Oh! Pepe! Pepe's tacos is in here! Oh, the soda machine is in here! No, all my water zero! It's stuck inside of, uh, it's stuck inside of Enrique's plaza of pain over here. Oh, that reminds me, too. Apparently, Enrique had a guard dog named Bernard. Uh, he's the destroyer of countless scrotums. <laughs> okay, thank you. Very good. Very good, Barbaron. Excellent. Now, oh, there's a bone inside. Uh, supposedly... This dog is, I think he said it's Enrique's right-hand man, uh, but it legitimately ate Enrique's right hand. I have a dog. He's big and quick. No soliciting. Over here in the main office, stacks of cash are on deck. We have tequila in the water machine. <laughs> this is amazing. This is the best business I've ever been inside of. I, I've never seen such a thing. That's an interesting colorization for the, uh, I'm assuming this is the, the lighting fixture in here. We have a coffee machine in the back. Remember, we have Water American, uh, ca Cafe, uh, bleh, bleh. got black coffee, espresso Turkish coffee, Scandinavian death, and of course, one of my personal favorites, crude oil. Uh, a little high in calories, but it'll clear you out really good. What in the hell? Besides the stacks of cash, we've got the not a nudie magazine, lesbian spank inferno. Dude, our barbarian, do not go naming, do not go naming pornographic films. Oh wow, is there another one underneath this? I almost want to see if I could like pick this up to see if there's another one underneath because I'm sure that whatever whatever named film, whatever full feature pornographic film under this is named by Barbarian. It will be equally as horrifying. This entire junkyard looks absolutely fantastic. Barbarian, I feel that Enrique's glorious establishment must face an appropriate level of punishment for existing because that's apparently all it takes to get blasticated over in brick rigs. Over here, I hadn't used this one, and I felt really bad about it because it is absolutely incredible. This is by Varios. This is his orbital cannon. It is legitimately a floating behemoth-like orbital cannon 
of pain and sadness. I think it has some lighting fixtures on it. Too. There we go. Excellent. Now, supposedly, should you dare to press the middle mouse button, it will activate the cataclysm effect and all sorts of horror will happen. You know what? Let's, um, let's lift up just a smidge over here. Hold on. Let me kind of aim myself this way. Lift up a little bit more. I think we should be right about set for the junkyard from here. If you would, go ahead and fire the Cataclysm Cannon, please. There it is. Oh, mother of God. I had no idea it was going to be quite so fast. <laughs> Enrique, I think your business just got leveled. You would have to slow this down substantially. Look at the kick this thing has. Can we straighten this back out and go in for another shot? Oh, I think we can. Hold on, maybe right about, maybe right about here. There it is. There's the cataclysm. Let us follow the reign of potential life ending sadness as it pelts the ground like a shower of bullets. That's amazing. Oh, all the, all the buildings are going down. Didn't mean for that to happen. Just another day in brick rigs, folks. Just another day. That is a lot of buildings that just went down. All right. Now I need to know if I can crash my game by destroying every building in the entire city. You always knew it had to happen. Down below, dozens of protesters have prepared their signs in order to express their agony. They want working water. They want more updates. They want more working water and more updates. But this must be quelled. The only way to quell such an uprising is through the power of a freaking orbital cannon. Fire the orbital cannon. Oh, what will happen to the protesters? What will happen to the protesters? Oh, no! It's like Christmas! It's like Christmas all over again! It's like, a, it's like America, red, white, and blue bricks are flying all over the place. It's like a giant, it's like Uncle Sam just decided to vomit all over, <laughs> all over Brick Riggs. Here we go. Oh, Bricksville, the rain of America falleth down upon ye. Is anyone left? Did a single person survive this onslaught? Oh, oh wait, I don't. No one's standing, but there's a couple. Oh, hold on. Yeah, no one's really standing, but there's a couple of bodies that are still like in one piece. They're still in one piece. I won't allow it. Fire the orbital cannon again. No survivors. There we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Each hit is absolutely disgusting. The power on this thing is remarkable. I'm not even, yeah, that guy's upper torso got severed from his lower torso. So uh, anyone want water, or anyone want working water now? Hmm? What? Anyone want some updates? No? No more updates? Okay, success. I feel like we need to blow something up almost like Independence Day like over here. Joey Jazz has constructed the Citadel, the glorious phallic-like symbol of oppression, Half-Life 2 style. I think it said, like, the helpless bobs must gaze upon this thing in all of its glory. Is there any, are there any secrets inside? Every, oh, it's got like a crazy core and such in there. Now, supposedly, should you will it, this thing will blow up of its own accord in a spectacular fashion. Let us jump into the driver's seat over here. Let us slow things down momentarily and then overcharge the reactor. And the reactor does explode in magnificent fashion. Wow, it lifted the entire base up off the ground. Like the base is doing a quadruple flip. Where's the tip? Where? Oh, there it is. I was gonna say the tip just got 
completely ripped off of the main base and decided to go cartwheeling off the side over here. Okay, so it blows up itself. Fantastic. Let's allow this thing to get hit with the orbital cannon, though. We probably don't need an orbital cannon for this. But honestly, everyone who rises up against us must know of the sheer firepower. Go ahead and fire the orbital cannon if we please. Yep. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. You know, the initial hit from the top wasn't that horrifying because the, the structure itself is so slender and narrow that it doesn't hit a whole... How far is the destruction happen from this thing? It doesn't get hit a whole lot, but those secondary hits on the base really did a lot of damage. It's still standing. The Citadel still stands. What a beacon of power and unyielding grace. Is that so? Well, guess what? Fire again. Fire again. This thing must fall. We have to take this creature down. Perhaps this time it'll learn who its better is. The orbital cannon takes no prisoners. Down to the ground. You know, other than us leveling almost all of the city now, the Citadel is still just fine. Have you ever seen an orbital cannon shot sideways? Me neither. Let's give it a let's give it a go over here. Hold on, ready? Ready? Pull it back. Okay, right about here. Fire the orbital cannon. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's high enough. Kinda sorta. A few of the shots are going in. Oh, it did pretty good. Sideways orbital cannon. Go. Crap. I'm doing like a full flip. Oh, it's so hard to aim. It's just not meant to be fired. Crap. It's not meant to be fired this way. You know what Gray always says? We can't miss from here. There we go. That's all it took. Well, all it took. It took an orbital cannon standing sideways, shooting outward in order to take down the Citadel. The Citadel was impressively strong. But now, just like everything else, it crumbles to the power of the orbital cannon. We've had Mother Russia and Poland field their impressive fleets of power. But there was one individual missing. Uncle Sam. Torpus is back. This one is called for Uncle Sam. It's the American fleet over here. Look at all the brickmen inside. Is this guy vomiting? <laughs> he is. Oh, God, look at the coloring. That's, that, he did a really good job. Oh, there's people vomiting everywhere. It's like a, it's like synchronized spewing or something. So... We have to put this against one of the other factions. I have to see what happens when these two creatures collide. Here we go. Mother Russia versus America. It was always meant to happen on the battlefields of Brick Rigs. See, outside of Bricksville, both of these lovely, warring, tankish, battle boatish creations like to share drink stories and handshakes, but inside of Bricksville, it's every man for himself. I'm not gonna lie, it's totally possible that Mother Russia may have done more damage to itself just trying to get over here than damage was actually done by the Americans. But now the combination of the two is going to happen. And I imagine once metal meets metal, we're gonna have bits and pieces blowing up all over the place. Oh, these poor guys. Oh, there goes the bodies. There goes the bodies. Just scraped by over there. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, this is a head-to-head -head collision. Right here. Head-to-head -head collision. There goes the men. They, it's like they defy gravity. It's fantastic. These are better crashes than you can get with normal vehicles. Oh, it's glorious. Is there anything left? Oh, there's a few left over here. The, uh, the, the for, for Uncle Sam fleet has managed to kind of pulverize its way down the middle. And it looks like we may have a T-bone collision right over here. This tank ain't making it out. Ugh, that's a good hit. And right over here as well. What is this explosion? <laughs> oh, putting these things up against one another is the freaking best. So much random blowing up. Oh. 
So much random destruction. Oh, there's one left. Look at this one over here. It made it out alive. I feel so bad. The vomiting guy is still there too. America, Mother Russia, you've both had a fantastic showing of sportsmanship, courage, and honor. And for your dedication, you must be blown up by the orbital cannon. Godspeed to you all. And happy freaking new year. Oh, 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 the pain. There it is. That's what everyone wanted to see. That's what everyone wanted to see. Look at the shrapnel fly across the map. Guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs. Where we got to feed some stuff to the mulcher. We got to blow up some buildings. We got to look at the orbital cannon. And other than that, I mean, it was just a whole lot of bricks and pieces flying all over the place. I guess when is it not, though? Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.